Hey guys, today I'm here with the Pace Edwards Switchblade Retractable Bed Cover fitting all 2016 and newer Toyota Tacomas. So if you're in the market for a tonneau cover or a bed cover and you're looking for some heavy duty security and protection to the items inside your bed while also getting a very sleek and low profile look, this option by Pace Edwards is gonna be a good one to take a look at. So there are a number of different choices when it comes to tonneau covers or bed covers, including tri-folds, roll-ups, hard covers, and soft covers. This is going to be a hard retractable cover. So this will have a polymer pad on top, giving it the look or the illusion that it is a soft cover, but it's gonna have a heavy duty aluminum base to it. So it is gonna provide some good security and protection to the items inside your truck bed. Not to mention, it is going to be incredibly easy to use. So this is going Going to have a spring-loaded tab on it so when you drop your tailgate all you have to do is pinch the tab and it will retract into the canister once you want to cover your bed back up all you have to do is grab the handy strap that's available and it will click into place and then you can close up your tailgate now that's going to make it perfect for the truck owner who's looking for a no fuss tonneau cover it's very easy to use instead of something that will take a little bit of extra work to close up the tonneau cover and cover the items inside your bed area. Not to mention, like I said before, you are getting a very sleek look to the back of your truck with this, especially with that black powder coat and that polymer pad up on top. With all of that being said, this is going to be at a more premium price point considering all of the features that it has at roughly $1,000, but in my personal opinion, I think that that's definitely worth it for what you're getting out of this bed cover. In comparison to some other choices, this is gonna be very user-friendly in my opinion. Other choices for tri-folds or roll-up covers or even options that will have buttons around the sides of the truck are gonna involve a little bit more work when it comes to closing up and covering up your bed area. With this, like I said, all you have to do is pinch two tabs and it will retract into itself, making this a no fuss tonneau cover. Not to mention you are getting the illusion that you have a soft bed or a soft cover here, but this is going to be very durable in comparison to some other choices that are for strictly a soft cover that are just a vinyl material, which are really good at protecting from the elements, but not so much with a ton of security. With this cover, you are getting that. You're getting more or less the best of both worlds so for a thousand dollars I think that that is a pretty good price point especially for the sleek look that this provides to the back of the truck now install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter this is going to be incredibly easy to install in about an hour with some very basic hand tools so speaking of the install let's jump into that now tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench a pair of scissors 3 8 inch drive ratchet a Phillips head screwdriver an 11 millimeter socket and a standard allen key so our first step is to hop in the bed of our truck with our canister here. We're gonna place this on first up against the cab of our truck and then we can put on our rails. Now, if you have a factory tonneau cover, there is a bracket here. You will need to remove it with a T30 Torx, but if you do not have one, we can push this up all the way against our cab and now we can attach our rails. So you're gonna have a left and a right side rail. If we take a look at this, this flat part is gonna sit on the side of our bed here and it's gonna have a curve down at the end that's gonna sit where the tailgate is. So what we can do is slide our rail into our tonneau cover. There's gonna be a tab here. This is gonna be the spring release. So this is gonna sit flat on the side of the bed and we're gonna slide it in between and making sure that this tonneau cover sits in the actual rail here. And there's gonna be a threaded hole on this side piece here, so we can go underneath and attach that with an 11 millimeter bolt. So once that's threaded in, we can tighten that up. I'm using an 11 millimeter socket and then we can repeat that on the other side. So now we can attach our clamps. We're gonna start with our factory rail. There is going to be a little cap here. We can take that off. Then we can slide in our studs. 
You're gonna have two per side. Once those are in there, you're going to grab the actual clamp piece. This is gonna sit on top of here. We're gonna bolt it down with a nut, a lock washer, and a flat washer. We wanna make sure that this narrow side is facing down. You can grab our provided hardware and bolt that up. After we're finished with our factory rail, we can move to our Pace Edwards rail. You're gonna have two smaller clamps, one with a step. This is going to have an extra hole for a set screw to make sure that this is all staying in place. And then you're gonna have one for the back. We're gonna put this up towards the front with this one and keep this one towards the back. And this is just going to slide into the rail in the back here. Same with this one, making sure that the more narrow step is towards the side of the bed. We can line those up. Now for these, we're gonna use a lock washer and a flat washer, since they have a threaded hole. We're not gonna tighten anything down yet. We wanna make sure that everything's attached. Now for the front one, you are gonna have a set screw. What we can do next is install our set screw. I'm just using a standard Allen key. We're not gonna tighten it down just yet. We just wanna make sure that, that it's in place. Then we can move our clamp to where we want it. I'm gonna keep one towards the back of the rail here and then move one up towards the front. Then we can tighten everything down with an 11 millimeter socket. Of the wheel here, I'm going to just use a hand ratchet. Then we can tighten up that set screw with our standard Allen key and repeat that same process on the other side. So our next step is to add a piece of foam up against our cab here because we are gonna be putting a cap and we wanna make sure that everything is sealed. So you wanna make sure that this is prepped and clean. I've already done that. And then we can lay our foam strip the length of the bed. So once you've reached the other side, just grab a pair of scissors, trim it off and then we can attach our cap. Next, we can add our cap. You wanna make sure that the seal is in the back and the little brush is at the front. We're gonna line it up on either side. If I pull this up and show you guys, there is a little clip retainer for our screws. I'm gonna put the screw in each of the sides of the cap. And then we can go ahead and tighten that down with a Phillips head screwdriver. Same for the other side. Once those are tightened up, we can go ahead and lubricate our rails. Next, we can go ahead and lubricate our rails. This is going to allow our bed cover to open and close very easily. You're gonna get a packet, and it's just gonna be a little wet wipe here. And we're just gonna run it through the inside of our rail.
do it for the other side. So next we have a piece of Velcro that we're gonna put on the side of our bed here. I already pulled the piece of tape back, but this is going to hold our strap so to make sure that it's easily accessible for when you want to close your bed cover. Just gonna put it on the side here. Last but not least, you're gonna have two drain tubes. There's two holes on the underside of the canister where these attach. Now these are gonna go either to the factory drain holes or really wherever you want to uh, put these. So we do have factory drain holes in the back there. They are a little bit too small to fit these tubes through. So in order to do that, you will have to drill those out. We are not going to drill those out of our plastic bed cover here. So what we're gonna do is just attach these and line them up with our factory drain holes. On either side of the underside of the canister, you're gonna have two holes. Now there are gonna be two tabs on each of the top drain tubes. So they're just gonna pop right into place. We can do the same thing for the other side. Last but not least, we can pull our strap and close up our bed cover. It'll lock into place. We can Velcro our strap right here for when we need it next. Close up our tailgate and you're all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.